In this video, we're going to create a header for our website using a picture. So yes, let's join me and let's do this. Content creators and entrepreneur to African Multi Design, the channel dedicated to making your business grow and thrive online. My name is Zanele. If we're meeting for the very first time, thank you for joining me and welcome to African Multi Design. Like I've said earlier on, we're going to create a header that looks stunning and it looks like this. I'm going to create two headers to show you one. For a website like google site that's kind of short and the other one that fills the whole page so we're going to do two quick tutorials to show you how to do that first of all you need to have canva you don't necessarily have to have the pro version of canva but if you don't i'm gonna share a link on the description below then you can find canva create an account and then start designing your awesome looking website header so once you've opened your Canva, the first option we're going to be designing on a YouTube channel art that would fit to the Google site. So we're going to open a YouTube channel art. We're going to create a blank one and then we're going to start designing from there. Please take note, I'm going to add timelines to the video so that you can skip to wherever you need to um, if you need to skip through. But once you've opened your Canva and it looks like this, you can change the color of the Canva to whatever color your brand is or the client that you're designing for. I would like us to go with the shocking pink and then we're going to go find the picture so we can upload it on to our current Canva. So you can search for a video on Canva, but I've uploaded a, a picture already that I found somewhere that I would like us to use. So I'm going to use that picture. I don't want it to fill the whole page. So once you've added the picture on there, you just size it nicely in such a way that you would like to have the lady, stunning looking lady um, on the Canva itself. So you can remove background by using the website to remove BG um, to take off the background. But yeah, Canva allows us to remove background if you have a pro version. So I just want to remove background so that we have a stunning looking um, picture of the lady. Now background is removed. Now we're going to add text on the side. So we go in, we go to text and we add text. So I'm going to use the font called Bukhari script to add text and the brand that we're designing for is Ten Tenzin. So let's call it Tenzin Collection and then uh, just put the go for the look and that's her tagline. So try to make your tagline all about the customer and not your brand. And you should always be using you, your, when you're designing for, even if you're designing for your customers, you need to be using the you and not we, because you're talking to the customer and you're trying to have them buy the brand. So it's not about you, it's about the customer. Your makeup. so that's the tagline you can bring it to top and now we're going to add nice effects on the actual header so that it looks stunning i need to go to elements first and then look for splash and then we can add a little bit of splash on there and just to type a little bit and then we're going to add a little bit of um, dots so now you just make it your own and you customize it and you 
tweak it so that it suits you. Move that a bit so that it looks like a nice added on kind of a feel. So you can play around with it until you're happy with the design. Okay. And the last one would be the lines that you need to add. So let's add a little bit of magic here. Quite squiggly and nice. Let's use a bit of that, a little bit of that here at the bottom of the page. And that is how you would create your um, header for this Google site. So once you're done like this, you just download it using a PNG and you click download, and then it would download and you'd find it on your downloads. And then you will um, nicely download it. Then you would go to your website and then you can upload it there. So I'm going to upload it on our Google site. And it's this one that we've just done. And it looks like it's filling the page. So I'm going to reset the header and make it a little bit big like that. Stunning. So with Google site, you can take off the layer so that it looks like this. And that's how you design the header for a small um, Google site or a site like a Google. Okay, so the next section is quickly if you would like to do a bigger size. Same principle, but the only trick that I would like to show you here is if you've taken your picture and you've loaded a picture for example like this one that we've done and we've set it as a background image you can add a nice overlay on top of your picture to suit your brain so for example what i mean by that you could go to elements and then you go and look for the shapes so with your shape you can change the color of your shape to suit your brain and then you can make an overlay on top of the picture that you've added on there. And then you can then make it transparent so that it creates a nice looking effect for an overlay like that. And then you can make it lighter or darker, but that's how you create a nice looking overlay when you would like to create a website header. And then you can add text and do exactly like we've just done with this with a previous um, quick video that we've just did. So that is how you create a header for your website. Please share comments at the bottom of um, this video and let me know your thoughts, but I hope this adds value. And like, subscribe, and thank you for joining me. I'll see you on the next video.